Alright guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2013 Volkswagen Jetta 2.0 liter non-turbo. Uh, the problem that we're having is a P0300, a P0302, and a P0303. So it's random multiple cylinder misfire and then a distinction on the misfire on 2 and 3. Also the check engine light was flashing too, uh, which meant damage to the catalytic converter. We're gonna go ahead and replace all of the ignition system on this one, just because the owner of the vehicle is super not up on the maintenance of the vehicle, so it's gonna go bad eventually, especially after treating it like shit for so long. So coil, wires, plugs, air filter, gap, the spark plugs, and torque, the spark plugs as well. Use dielectric grease on the wires, and I think that's about it. So make sure you stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share. We're going to go over all these videos. I believe this will be about a four series uh, video set coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you check out all these videos. If you have a question about this vehicle or something I did, make sure you ask away too. And all the parts that I'm installing on this vehicle will be in the description below with links to purchase them if you have not done so yet. Remember to like, subscribe, and share while we're watching this. And thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobby. All right, so now we're going to get going on the spark plug replacement uh, section or part of my little series. I got the Bosch Well, there's no short number It's the FR7H E02. The link will be in the description for these two. Um, <clears throat> where to buy them, whatever. Uh, factory gap is 43. When I'm checking these, they're coming up to about 38. dead right in the middle of 43. I already got the other ones gapped. You've got spark plug wire right there, spark plug wire right there, and they go down to the coil. On the other side, spark plug wire right here. There's a spark plug wire right here. And then under the intake right there. Hopefully we get to it without taking the intake off though. Pull this wire off. Like so. We'll go ahead and pull this other one off. This one, you can see, you can't see shit. So I'm going to use my strap-on 5 8 double swivel. Again, I'm only using a double swivel so you guys can see a little bit better. Voila, oh, look at that gap. There's more than likely the problem. When you start those spark plugs, you always want to start them by hand. Because if it's cross-threaded, you're not, you're not going to be able to cross thread something by hand. You get started, you get a few turns in. Get a torque wrench. And we're going to torque these to 21 millimeters. 
21 millimeters, 21 pounds. I know. And that's it. Gap's pretty big on that one too. Are nickel plated, by the way. These uh, plugs, nickel plated, nickel. They're nickel. When you're getting these started, this is the last thing that you want to try to rush or force. So if it doesn't feel good, take it back out and put it back in. Um, never force that. If you strip out these uh, threads, it's a bitch to put a Healy coil in to fix them. And you're just asking yourself a problem. So make sure you start your spark plugs by hand. I know we don't do it all the time, but as much as you can, torque your plugs too. She went to go play with the neighbors. What? Play with the neighbors. All right, now that you got your plugs back in, Get your wires back on, and you just push down till you hear a click. Again, just push down till you hear the click. <clears throat> you got your wires right here. A little wire down here. I guess in this situation, this double swivel will help a lot. So if you have a double swivel, this would be the time to get it on. Got it. Gap's huge too. Just at 50. Like so, you just need to make sure you push it down. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers to do it, but also I'm gonna do a wire replacement. So stay tuned. I watch the my next videos or some other videos on that. Let's get get going on this one though, and get this last wire off. 
Also, to be able to pull that out, I had to disconnect the, or uh, get the wires out of their uh, holder over on the other side. Oh yeah, nice big gap on that one too. All right, now that's gonna do it for the spark plug portion of this. Uh, make sure you check in the description. I have a link for the parts. Uh, the tools you need are this nifty um, spark plug pliers, your spark plug socket. Actually, this is all. I'm gonna do it for this section or uh, this little series I'm doing, the spark plugs on this video. Uh, next is going to be the wires and then I'm going to finish up with the air filter. I already did uh, the coil. So check out my other videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share while you're doing so. I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Scotty's Hobbies.